my work was based on my memories. So it's a little window back in the past. A few years ago, I started thinking about looking back at my childhood, which I was, I'd never done this before, revisiting my childhood, reevaluating and understanding perhaps. But even that process, it comes at certain time. Everything has to have time, right? Certain time. I would like my audience to have their own, perhaps find some connection. And in this particular painting, perhaps recognize themselves in this portrait. I would like them to see how happy I was. My smile would tell me a lot, and the emphasis on the red tie would bring so much pride. That was the focal point, that at that day, wearing this tie to achieve was a great achievement for me. So the joy and happiness brought to me, and overall, just to be a, a little happy, creative individual. Well, in my childhood, I was fascinated with stems. The first artwork that for me was a source of inspiration were postal stems. So each stem for me was a magnificent design, filled with colors and shapes and forms and the storytelling. There's always struggle. However, it's in the process of struggling, you try, you push yourself to your limits, and you realize the limits are a lot farther than you ever thought. And that's how you learn, so I appreciate those struggles. From the first look, it seems like the edges of the paintings were kind of smudged over and they're very chaotically brushed and that was intention to add, to bring the emphasis to children, to child smile, the girl smiling and the tie, its connection, the joy and happiness and everything else is kind of pushed back and sort of like an atmospheric perspective because this image, a fragment of a memory, so it shouldn't be as vivid, as accurately uh, depicted as you would see high def image. So it meant to be in such a chaotic way. It's never done because painting is a life energy. It's growing, you're growing. You're never the same today as you were yesterday. So if painting is reflection of your feelings, your memories, who you are, then perhaps it will transform as you are growing, right? So maybe it is a reflection of me two years ago, but if it's in my possession, in my studio, there's constant urge to come back and revisit and perhaps add more whether it's a composition, color, or a conceptual or idea or something else. And I like that. It is dialogue with yourself. I have very high expectations of myself. Probably, hopefully because I know I can do a lot more. The art spirit is you. Your, your soul, your spirit that is in, what guides you, that's who you are. And you allow that energy to express and take whatever venue it wants to take.